In this next video, we're going to talk about the bones of the face, the auditory ossicles, the hyoid bone, and the fontanelles that are found in infants. So let's talk first about the face. So there, are the first two bones we're going to talk about are the maxilla or maxillary bones. There's two of them. There's a left and a right. They form the upper jaw, the anterior roof of the mouth, the floor of the orbit, the sides of the nasal cavities, the floor of the nasal cavities, and they contain the uh, they're the only facial bone that has a sinus, the maxillary sinuses. Behind or deeper or posterior to the uh, maxilla, you find the two palatine bones, which are these L-shaped bones located behind the maxilla. They form the posterior section of the hard palate or the roof of the mouth, floor of the nasal cavity, and the lateral walls of the nasal cavity. Then we come to the cheekbones, the zygomatic bones, which are the green ones on our model here, on our picture here. They form the prominences of your cheek, the lateral walls of the orbits, the floor of the orbit, and they have the, the temporal process, and that temporal process connects with the zygomatic process from the temporal bone to form the zygomatic arch. The lacrimal bones are in the corner, the medial corner of the, of the orbit. They form the medial wall of the orbit and they have a groove, which is where you find the lacrimal duct that drains the tears from the eye down into the nasal cavity. Two nasal bones connected by the nasal suture form the bridge of your nose. It's really the only part of the nose that's actually bone and not cartilage. The vomer forms the inferior portion of the nasal septum, the, thing, the structure that splits the nasal cavity into left and right sections. But most of the, of the septum is cartilage, just like most of the nose is cartilage. You have a projection from the wall of the nasal cavity called the inferior nasal conchae. Uh, the middle and superior, remember, are part of the ethmoid bone. There's two of those, one on each side. The mandible is the lower jaw, part only movable bone in the, the cranium, in the face. It's the strongest bone in the face. Sometimes people can have a problem where the, where the mandible forms a joint with the temporal bone. And they don't fit quite right, called temporal mandibular joint disorder, or TMJ. And it can cause the, the jaw to lock in place uh, and cause other problems as well. In the middle ear, behind the eardrum and, and connecting the eardrum with the cochlea are three of the smallest bones in the body called the auditory ossicles, one in each ear, malleus, incus, and stapes, or the hammer, the anvil, and the stirrup. And they transmit the sound from the tympanic membrane to the organ for hearing, the cochlea. And then lastly, we have the hyoid bone, which is located in the neck below, below and, or behind the jaw, and it serves as an attachment for the base of the tongue. And it's the only bone that doesn't directly articulate with any other bones in the body. I'll talk briefly about the fontanelles or the soft spots in the skull. When the, the, a baby's born, it's got two areas in the skull that have not fused together yet, called fontanelles, or we, we call them soft spots. There's an anterior fontanelle between the parietal and the frontal bone and a posterior fontanelle between the parietal and occipital bone. The posterior one will close up uh, usually around a, a year, year and a half. The anterior one takes a little bit longer. So these are bones that haven't fully ossified yet. They're membranous bones. So they have that sheet of connective tissue there instead of bone. And they allow the baby's head to change shape slightly during childbirth and they allow a little bit of growth in the, in the cranium. 